and what else can we expect but i think <laughs> pratap is does have a slight advantage here yeah i mean the big boss i mean the, the big boss of real deal shadely i mean he's not going to be going down without a fight dude this guy dude this guy's going to be on revenge mode on revenge mode for <laughs> two teammates that have been taken out by Prathap. But on the other hand, Prathap has, I think he has done his research. He did do his research. Yeah. He knows that Shadley is probably, probably going to pull out a lineup like this. So you know what? What the heck? I'm going to be doing the exact same thing. But, you know, my version. Instead of a triple plant, I'm going to be bringing in a triple dust. Dude, this is going to be one heck of a battle, dude. Yeah, it's going to be a hell of a battle. What do you think about uh, the Jar Baraj card that he brought this time? I think we have seen this particular axe before. Is, yeah, is it the I same mean, one? Uh, I'm not quite sure because it's a yak. I think I don't think the it was a yak. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Around, so this mm -hmm. one's a big yak. Um, but I mean, Jar Barrage, like for sure, dude. Especially, you know, if if you don't if you don't if you don't want to be dealing with any crits, then Jar Barrage is your guy. But I've also been seeing a lot of uh, you know maybe a bull quark together with a Jar Barrage. But on its own, it's already you know a very powerful card. It's very very useful. I mean, especially if you're going to be going up against um, I don't know if you're going to be going beasts. up against beasts, probably right or yeah. um um like especially you know maybe like an an, an axi kiss combo there an axi kiss dual blade beast right oh there. yeah with a ronin dude i mean all that i don't know man and starts with double uh, uh sorry uh, cactus triple cactus wow <laughs> Prathap down to his last 67 hp 67 HP left. He still has his cards. He does have a double. Imagine sword if he shot. had put a poison card. If he had gotten gotten a poison card at first. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm I mean, you know, like, dude, the, the venom spray. He so many ticks. I agree. I agree. I mean, if he did, if he at least like you know, if he at least had the yam up there. Yeah, because it's it's pretty. I mean, yeah, that, it's, that's what I was talking about. It's pretty interesting because I mean, none of his poison cards actually came out. He has one venom spray. He has a, what a barb strike. It's all will utility. He steal, basically. Will he steal? He stole two energy. Damn, Oof. that's gonna hurt. Oof. It's basically like starting the game, dude. It's like you're starting the game with. Are the game? With but red you light. have uh, no HP. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, the only advantage that Prathap has right now is he just have a lot of cards in his hand. But unfortunately, energy is going to be a quite it. bit of a problem for him. I mean, you yeah. know, at the most, he doesn't have Sunderclaw waiting to be dealt right here. I mean, you know, it's a pretty powerful card. As I said, he's going to be doing that, going in for the sneaky raid, a double barb strike, plus the sinister going to be dealing. Ooh, a bunch of poison ticks right there, plus 151, bringing down Shade Lee's backliner down to 124 HP, plus the tick. And the juggling boss is going to hurt for you, my friend. That's going to hurt for you also. Yeah. By the way, have you seen uh, Pratap's backliner with the back door? It's a, it's called Winghorn. The smart, the smart is uh, the smart shot, right? Yeah, the smart shot. Yeah, uh, the part is called Winghorn. So, uh, it it's quite strong against the midliners. Uh, like usually people put beasts in the middle. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Uh, like uh, the bird users, uh, they don't they use little owl. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe because it's a mouth card, but I Probably. think people should uh, give uh, a smart shot a little bit of uh, like. I think it's not played that much in the game. That's true. I mean, so does Gerbil Jump, right? But I mean, it really depends yeah. on what uh, your team co team composition is. 
um, as you said, you know, like for a smart shot, it's good for beasts in the mid line. Um, like at this moment, I think he uh, he opted for the sneaky raid, um, which actually worked because now Shade Lee's back line is down to the last four HP. And he's going to be taken out just right now. Plus, you know, three more ticks of poison on his front line right there. He does have a yam. There's quite a bit of a counter attack. Now, both of them have three ticks of poison. We have Prathap going in for the double sinister. Is it going to be enough? No, it's not. But he's going to uh, be in trouble. Even if it's not enough, uh, the poison is going to kill him. Ooh, a critical with a yam. Never say goodbye. <laughs> he does. Dude, dude, he said, dude, if I'm going to be going, right? If I'm going to be going down, remember me. Remember me with this last stick of poison. Shadely, uh, oof, now in trouble. Wow. Prathap, turning the game around. Ow. There's no way. There's no way he's coming out of this. And that's a GG. Yeah. Wow. I mean, perhaps... 12 poison picks exactly. on an axi. Exactly, exactly. I mean, where's... Dude, where's the blackmail when you need it?